before we delve into the FKF Premier League Round 2, we saw there were some additions. Yeah. Additions to the league, to, to the, sorry, Arambis to the Arambis Arambis Star Squad. Yeah. Yeah. It was uh, Austin Odiambo from Gormahia. Stanley Wilson from Kariobangi Sharks. Stanley is good. Yeah, Stanley is good. And you've, and you've watched him play how many times? I've watched him play, I bet, around four times. Yeah, you've watched him in the Sharks friendlies. In the Sharks, uh, one Sharks friendly, the late preseason cup, and against Kenya Police FC. Okay, I, what I like about him is his ball striking. Left, right. His good passing ability. Yeah, his dribbling. <laughs> It's like we're talking about Tyson. Eh? Yeah, <laughs> but but now a Tyson who can who, can, who, who is a little bit harder harder on, on the opposition. He does not let you go away with the ball easily. He can tackle you from any side. He's, he's just a very good player. And that uh, that coaching, I'd say it's kudos to the Kariobangi Sharks technical team, because when Stano joined them, he was not uh, the the type of player to track back and that but they have pushed and gotten it out of him yeah. to be able to get that tracking tracking back in him the tackling ability the 50 50s the duels which he does very well we will try and compile his duel success rate against police police in the next segment we come with the data okay let's uh dive in also not forgetting clark odor from bradford city yeah. In the English League 2, I think. You had asked me about him, eh? About yeah, him not being the, called. Yeah, eh. because, because this season, this season actually, if there is a player in, from Kenya who has improved, Nikla Kodur. Clark, mm-hmm. last season, I was going to but this season, so far, the games he has chosen, I don't think he has missed a single match. Clark Kodur. Clark Kodur. Remember the watch, name. Watch, watch him out. He, mm-hmm. he can play, and as a as a left back, as a as a left wing back, and a the offensive midfielder. Speaking of left wing back, before again we dive into the round two, yeah. uh, coach, you said we call him Engine. Engine Firat. Engine Firat hinted that uh, we could be having uh, Kenya could change its formation in the near future. But play a back three. But Alisema, it's not it's not before the the November yeah, games. Yeah, it's after the after, November game. Yeah. So yeah. it's a long long term project. But he stated very well. That we have three very good and fast central Center defenders. Yeah. Who, who, and who? Johnston Omuro of yeah. Estrella. Estrella CD. Yes. Uh, there is Joe Okumu of yes. Stade Reigns. Yes. And then there is. Who's, who's the, the right Who's the other one? <laughs> <laughs> I can't na- keep na- forget Jineake, but. Mm, hmm. then Johnston, then. Crouch, na. Colin, nini, Colin si change. change yeah. Former FC Leopards. He's from Niswali. <laughs> yeah. From <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Kolo, Omurwa, and Nini. Then he said we have Marcelo. Marcelo, uh, Marcelo who can play at the right, left wing back. Then uh, now the right wing back will be the problem. But we have Masaba. <laughs> <laughs> you also have Anyembe. Yeah, Masaba. <laughs> team Masaba. <laughs> <laughs> Our national team, Arambe Stars. Well, you report camp on Sunday. Yeah, on Sunday. So the game started on Friday. Yeah, local based players in the early report, but uh, from press conference, your coach, more players will be reporting as uh, time goes by. Because actually, actually, only one player did not report, but uh, we will not report to the camp. Our Tapatanadoa, Ayub Timbe, is the only Timbe. player the coach said that you, they will just meet in Doha. The rest are in, in the camp right now. Okay, so also I had the coach say Muguna has a slight issue, but they are checking it out. It was Muguna and? Muguna, Olunga, mm-hmm. I think I, Ayub, Ayub, Ayub's issue was, uh, is the one that prevented him from coming into Kenya mm-hmm. and they'll meet in Doha. So they saw it fit for him to just, uh, uh, to just travel the distance, uh, yeah. Earlier today, the Arambe Starlets coach Beldino Demba, who also adds up as the Kenya Police Bullets FC coach, and the under-18 Arambe Starlets coach named a provisional squad for the Aukon qualifiers. Aukon is African Women Women Cup of Nations qualifiers. Uh, so she has named a provisional squad to face Cameroon on the 22nd, 22nd September. And is it 22nd? I don't. Yeah, there is one game. There are two games, home and away. So she has named a provisional squad. In the goalkeeper's department, she has Valentin Kwaka of Kenya Police Bullets FC, Anedi Kundu of Ness Atronit. At Rinotou FC, Caroline Roof of Simba Queens, Tanzania. For the defenders, she has Christine Awar, 
Zitek Sparks, Lavenda Atieno Okeo, Kenya Police Bullets FC, Phoebe Owiti, Viga Queens, Dorcas Shikobe, Sirins of Greve, Grevena, Enes Mango, Farul Constanta, Winket Kari, Younger Princess, Ruth Ngozi, Simba Queens, Vivian Nasaka, Akari Guspor, Quinta Owiti of Kenya Police Bullets. Quinta Owiti was formerly an under 18 star. She she has been she it's a it's a first it's a first time with the national squad. So she has been she has been named in the squad from the development squad, which is a good thing for Kenyan football also. Then for the midfielders, there is Shindia Siloaso of Kirivabas Women, yeah, Ukraine, Sherry Langachi of Ulinzi Starlets, Ketsingaira of Ulinzi Starlets, Vivian Corazon of Simba Queens, Janet Mora of Viga Queens, Majolin Nekesa of SK Slavia Praha. Actually, Majolin Nekesa is one is part of the very few women who are Kenyan football who are in Champions League. I think she'll be having a games later this week. I must join either this week or next week. And then there is Masilina Nyango of JKF Pandas. For the forwards, she has Gentrix Chikango, who moved to Beijing Jingtang from Simba Queens. Then there is Topista Situmo of Fountain Gate Princess. Uh, Pale Fountain Gate kuna another Kenyan and our Kapo Kama, the technical director. I to Alexander Alumira, shout out to him. And then there is there is Elizabeth Wamboy, Simba Queens. Elizabeth, in the last one year, I may move from Gaspo to Buja Queens, which is a calf, calf nini qualifier as a East African East African region. And then I can move to Simba just the other day. So she she she's part of the Simba Simba Queens squad. And then there is Monali Madam, Akarigu Spore. She had a birthday early to celebrate, but they are juicy, juicy too. She's a very good striker. And I tagwa mwana alima Adam Dogo. Then there is Irene Madalina of Bunyore Starlets. Irene Madalina was the top scorer last season for the Kenya Women Premier League. Then there is Essie Akida of SV, uh, FC Paok in the Greece League. She's also, uh, alongside Majolin Nekesa, part of the very few women who are the Champions League, Champions League Europe. Semi Africa, Champions League Europe, ya Madem. Then there is Teresa Engesha, self introductory. Yuda is still RA. Then Kuna Purity Alukwe, Kenya Police Bullets. Violet Nanjala, La Yune, AM, AMFL, who, who alikuwa na Viga Queens previously. Then Akapateo Muviake to Morocco. Eh, uh, she was the top scorer last season, if I'm not wrong. Then there is Valerie Lea Nekesa. Madira Soka Assassins. She's 14 years old, already in the national team. Uh, she's a very good striker, athletic, a konambio. Like, konini, kwa easy games at Kenya Secondary School Association, she was the shining star kwa the women's side. Then there is Masi Wairo of Ulinzi Starlets. Uh, in a rap, Yondo squad, Berlin or Demba, my name. I hope that their games will be played na wata, 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 wata is a kugo past Cameroon. So that to go a representative pia kwa kwa nini kwa African Games ju eh tukiendelea kutegemea the male counterparts <laughs> I think we'll have very many years to make it so let's let's fully support the women's side eh, kwa game yao ile itakuwa hapa home against Cameroon make sure maze tumetokea grau pia to come to come to apige psych it will be a very good for them a uh, very good thing for them we a very good show and it's almost a ni ile time ingine tuna tuna rap show yetu I know it, it will be it it all bo sana si ku rap jum liko mna expect more from us lakini msijali tune in bado next week tutakuwa na similar edition of this show tutakuwa discuss more about the Kenyan game tuendelea hivi so you can follow us follow follow the channel at sportsite sportsite sports uh, there are social media handles at fe, uh, facebook ni sportsite kenya twitter ni twitter formally x uh, x formally twitter ni sportsite at sportsite Instagram ni at sports uh, You can also follow me on social media. Social media and all zangu zote ni anotg. And tumekuwa, tumekuwa, imekuwa very good show. Alongside the AFC diva Josh Angatia. <laughs> uh, tune, tune in for next week. <laughs>